What's up, guys? Welcome to our first ever episode of Redonkulous Rambles. You've got Redonk, and we do a lot of indie highlights, and we do a lot of game reviews in this channel. But one of the things that we really haven't done yet is talk a little bit about some of the gaps that exist within the library of the Nintendo Switch. So before we go down that road, be sure to take a moment, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, at Redonk Gaming, toss us a like on Facebook, and please take a moment to visit RedonkulousGaming.com. So we want to credit GameSpot for our featured image here, and this is probably a pictograph that you've seen before. It actually comes in many shapes and sizes, and it's been changed over time as games have been moved around and slated for different time releases. And I just want to start off by saying, you know, who are we to complain about the library of games that are available for Nintendo Switch? I mean, we've seen so many new releases, and the indie game developer community has done a huge service to the Switch consumers, providing frequent new releases weekly. So, what's missing? If you look at this picture and the slated release dates, you'll notice quite a few games were delayed, which is to be expected. But another thing you'll notice is that there are some glaring gaps in the to-be-announced lineup that are both Nintendo titles and desired ports within the community that are available on other consoles. So what we're going to review is really our top five games that we would love to see come to Nintendo Switch in 2018. So we'll start with number five, and number five is Super Smash Bros. We're going to go ahead and state the obvious first. Super Smash Bros. stands out more so than most due to its success starting with N64, followed by 3DS, and eventually Wii U. There are likely a variety of reasons why we haven't seen much around the release of the game for Switch. The most likely reason is the release of Pocket Tournament DX. Nintendo likely wanted to stagger the release of these two titles, and smartly, Nintendo knows that the demand for Super Smash Bros. will still be there in 2018, but Pocket Tournament DX was originally released to the Wii U community, and therefore did not see the success that they had anticipated due to the overall low adoption of the Wii U. Pocket Tournament DX on the Switch has been a revelation and will continue to have an active and competitive online community, likely for years to come. Now, if you're active on Twitter, one of the things that you may have seen is a tweet by the user handle Coos saying, Dear Nintendo America, can we please get Super Smash Bros. for the Switch? Sincerely, your customers. This thing got well over 3,500 retweets, well over 13,000 likes, so the demand is absolutely there for Super Smash Bros. in 2018. Let's go ahead and count down to number four. And number four is a port that we would love to see from Blizzard, and that is Overwatch. Now, Overwatch on the Nintendo Switch has been rumored since May of 2017, and it seems both sides are interested in porting this instant classic to the Switch. But the main hang-up is the technology piece. Yes, it's true, it's not worth being in denial anymore, the Switch does have limitations, and that is okay. If Overwatch makes its way to Switch, we won't care how long it took to happen, we'll just be glad it got done. Having Overwatch on the Switch would be a big win for the community as a whole, but the biggest boost would be to esports. Number three, yet another Blizzard port that we would love to see on the Switch, and no, this one is not Hearthstone, although that one would likely be the one Blizzard title that is first to come to the Switch. We're going to talk about Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Again, the technical limitations of the Switch would be the main obstacle for making this happen. Diablo 3 was made available for console, making it the first Diablo game of the series to make its way outside of the PC-only realm. This one may be a stretch due to the portability of the Switch and the need for Diablo to have an internet connection to play. Either way, it would be sweet to play Diablo in handheld mode. We had posted previously about Diablo 3 on our website, joining the lineup of Switch games, so please feel free to check that out, and then post and comment and let us know your thoughts on this. I've included a link to that post in the description below. Now, number two, Earthbound. Earthbound was an amazingly odd RPG for Super Nintendo. The story was deep, and the gameplay was crazy fun. In a way... Earthbound was a little ahead of its time and wasn't taken as seriously as some of the other RPGs on the market because it was deemed a little cutesy. Now fast forward many years and Earthbound still has a cult following to the extent that digital copies can be had on Wii U and 3DS. So pushing for the Switch version of Earthbound really is not a stretch. It would be even better if Nintendo decided to refresh the game for the Switch, 
but beggars can't be choosers, so I digress. Now, our number one game that we would love to see revamped, redone, and brought to the Nintendo Switch is Super Mario RPG from Super Nintendo. How amazing was this game? The tactical nature of the fights, the swapping in and out of party members, teaming up Bowser with Mario, it was all pure gold. And even though nothing gold can stay, we can still hope to see this game either remastered or given a true successor in the form of a sequel. Super Mario Odyssey is a great game in its own right, but it certainly is no successor to Super Mario RPG. Personally, I long for the days of timed hits in combat based on the weapon and character being utilized. I miss the little weird blush cheek Geno doll. Malo is always going to hold a special place in my heart, which is why Kuz on Twitter inspired me to tweet something similar to Nintendo. I don't have his same number of followers, so I hope you'll join my campaign. And if you feel the same way I do about Super Mario RPG, I'm going to leave the link to this tweet in the description below. So please like the tweet, retweet it, share, etc. Help turn this into a legitimate campaign if you love Super Mario RPG as much as I did and would love to see it for Nintendo Switch. So those are our top five that we'd love to see released in 2018, or at least slated or announced in 2018. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter at Redonk Gaming, toss us a like on Facebook, and visit us on our website, RedonkulousGaming.com. Till next time, guys.